Okay, uh, Afia. So really, really nice to speak to you today. Uh, you know that I am a mother with two very young kids, and my oldest daughter is just starting to go to school. So this last uh, semester, I had a lot of trouble trying to put her in school. So she was crying, wailing. She didn't want to go to school, and that was stressing me out as well. So can you tell me what was your perspective? Uh, when did you start trying to go to school, and when did you decide like this is not for me? And how did you communicate it with your parents? Well, my parents gave me that option, and at the time, I was worried about my friends. Hmm. Even though I didn't like school, so I went. Just a few weeks later, I decided I really wasn't my thing, and okay. school wasn't How that How old good. were you? I was third stand, no second standard. How old could I have been? Seven. Okay, so till seven you were in school. So what shifted? What changed? Well, my perspective of school changed for one, and I decided to try this out. I mean. A kid staying at home, in my opinion, doing nothing. Well, it would have been any school kid's dream. So I decided to check it out. So my mom kept me at home for two weeks, and then we came out. And after that, it started. So for the first few years, I really didn't do anything much. I learnt very little, and then soon boredom took over. I really couldn't stick around with TV anymore. So I started to learn and gather information what I needed. I started to read, and then finally, I'm doing what I do now. Any doubts? I grab the book I need. I start reading, clear that doubt. Any more left? I ask my mom, and then that's it. End with the subject. So that's really nice to hear. Uh, so Afia, can you tell me more about your initial experience with school? How were your? How was that year like before you quit? Well, I met the school bully on the very first day. Well, I acted a little more differently and told the teacher. Mm -hmm. So after that, my school days were regular. I had many friends, sharing lunches, sometimes stealing. And after that, when the teacher turned around, chattering about. But after that, the school days were a little bad. Teacher kept. Distancing me, I was a slow writer. Mm -hmm. So yes, it felt like the teacher was always picking on me. Okay, felt like that to me, but I don't know. Okay. And after that, I was very bad at maths in my school. Mm -hmm. So literally, I had to mug up my multiplication. I only done till two, and after that, I completely lost interest in school. And then my mind lingered back to the choice I had that I could come out of school. So, so we at gave that what point did your parents offer you that choice? In my first standard. Okay. Before I started the year for second, she gave me that choice. Mm -hmm. And that was because of the bad experience that you had. Yeah. Did any of your friends go through the same thing? Yes. Almost Many everyone at school did. Okay. 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 Did you tell the teacher about this experience? And no. We were all scared to death of the teacher. So before your parents uh, gave you this option, did you actually request them to allow you to take a few days off school because you were bored because you didn't want to go? Actually, we we skip school like every other week. Okay. And I never knew homeschooling existed or unschooling or any of that. So no, no idea actually sprang. Mm -hmm. It was all imagination and dreams that I would one day not go to school. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So uh, once you came out of school, uh, did you were you in touch with your earlier classmates and how was your interaction like with them? Actually, my mom kept in touch for a while with their parents, so I got to meet them just once or twice. And hmm. after that, it all drew drew away. So couldn't really meet them after that. Still remember them, but I haven't heard of them for a long time. Okay, so Afia, what is your average day like? Well, my average day, I wake up in the morning, sometimes evening, and I. Is there any specific time that you wake up? At? No, no. Sometimes I wake up at eight. Sometimes mm -hmm. I wake up at eight thirty. Sometimes eight twenty-five. Sometimes ten. Sometimes twelve. Mm -hmm. And then I start off by giving my mom a good morning. I go to the kitchen, get my milk, have it, sit down for a while. 
unless i'm in a very bored mood i usually grab a harry potter book and sit down then i'm like set for a few hours and then my mom has to remind me a bit for my practice and i start that practice takes a little while like 4 hours because four instruments mm 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 and then i that's it practice done and then we me and my mom sit down and talk then we start our daily regular housework mm my mom does the dishes i grab them put them in the basket and then after that a break and then we start again with the cooking sometimes i learn how to cut the onions tomatoes everything how to light the stove mm. so after all of that sometimes we go out sometimes there's no cooking and we go out to eat mm. and after that time flies and it's already 7 then my mom either goes to pick my dad up sometimes i go with her mm -hmm. other than that my dad walks home mm -hmm. and then we all sit together watch a movie mm -hmm. and then we go to bed that's great that's great so you do this every day not exactly timetable shifts okay do you have a timetable no not really other than it's for my practice no okay so do your parents give you say guidelines for the day you know or maybe suggest something that you could do this on mondays you could do this on tuesdays or is there absolutely no guidelines at all it's completely the only up to guideline you. is there on saturday which is officially named the cleaning day where we clean the house up a bit mm -hmm. like vacuuming the house brushing up everything dusting washing in that i have no choice but to participate okay so household chores you have to do yeah. otherwise you're completely free to do whatever you want yeah So how do you perceive the future like uh do you think you will be interested in college yes actually i'm very interested in college hearing my mom's stories okay what aspect of college interests you the fun part where you get to hang out with friends you get to sleep alone not exactly alone alone you've got friends mm -hmm. roommates mm -hmm. and then the studies then the teachers professors and of course the times where you get to go on tours don't know if that exists but okay all those are very interesting okay interesting because uh, you know i think a person who has been unschooled now generally people would think they would not be interested in college but you seem to be very interested but from going from a completely unstructured environment to a structured environment like college would you be able to handle it yes of course that's why i train myself a bit with the time tables how do you train yourself like sometimes i have a goal for the day that i will have to go and sit on my drum kit at exactly 4 o'clock mm -hmm. sometimes i manage it okay and some and then i have the rule after 4 i have to sit there till 5 and i do okay really interesting to speak to you afia all the best for your future thank you thanks in the video ungalku pidichirundhuchina engalukaga like pannunga உங்களுக்காக சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் மற்றவர்களுக்காக ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள்